game six of the first round of the NHL playoffs between the Carolina Hurricanes and the New York Islanders. Canes need just one more win to advance to the next round, but New York has all the momentum as the series shifts back to New York. In the first period in this one, the Islanders strike first. Cal Clutterbuck, one of the best names in sports, out in front of everybody delivering a strike. New York draws first blood one to nothing. It would remain that score until the third period when after multiple shots on goal, Sebastian Ajo finally finishes the job for the Hurricanes and the game is tied at one apiece and we would head into overtime and that goes to the old wily veteran Paul Stasny. He ends the series right there. Hurricanes win two to one in overtime to clinch the series against New York. It's playoffs, you know, it's it's hard fought. It's, it's, this time of year, there's always uh, two good teams against each other. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a constant grind. Uh, I, I felt like we we st stuck with it. We just uh, we kept grinding, we kept grinding, and, and uh, you know, found ways to win hockey games. Frederick Anderson clutched 33 saves for the Hurricanes tonight in the goal. Canes advance to the second round where they will play the winner of the Devils and Rangers series next. College baseball, the 12th ranked ECU baseball team back in Greenville this evening starting a three game weekend series with Tulane. Joey Barini singles into left. That would score Jacob Starling in the first inning. ECU led two to nothing at that point. Bottom of the second, ECU 3-2 now up. Jacob Jenkins Coward up the middle. That scores Lane Hoover for two Pirates. And a safety dance break at that. Later, watch the defense from Jacob Starling. The beautiful diving snag out of midair for the out. Fantastic play. Tulane countered with Teo Banks, however. He hit two home runs for the Green Wave tonight. Tulane retook the lead. 8 to 4. And then the sixth inning we go. Josh Moylan trying to lead the comeback. An RBI single into right to score Hoover. Tulane led 9 to 6 after six innings. The rest of the game had to be postponed due to lightning. It will finish up tomorrow at 2.30. And the doubleheader tomorrow will follow after that. Second and third round picks of the NFL draft to continue tonight to go along with Bryce Young. The Carolina Panthers selected a receiver for him to throw to in the second round. Jonathan Mingo out of Ole Miss in the third round. They traded up to pick DJ Johnson, a linebacker out of Oregon. Panthers have three more picks to make tomorrow. UNC receiver Josh Downs selected by the Indianapolis Colts in the third round. One possible late round draft pick in this draft might be ECU and DH Conley wide receiver CJ Johnson. He lacks great speed, but his size, strength and hands are assets as a big slot receiver in the NFL level, which scouts like. I've gotten a lot of feedback. Uh, they like they like my size. They like uh, the big slot um, scenario that they can put me in. And um, as far as it's things I need to work on, they've been they've been really keying in on my speed and just wondering how fast I am. Just being able to play more than one position gives you a value that uh, that they look for in the NFL, and um, the value is all you can go off of. We'll see if CJ gets drafted or not tomorrow. That's your take on sports. Back to you guys.